Hello, my Pisces. Welcome back. I know it's a long time no see. The entire month of November, I was personally in retrograde, so very busy, unable to sort things out. But here I am. I am back. So let's get it going, shall we? Really quick, for those of you that are new, I don't do date and time specific. This is a general reading. So if it resonates with you, awesome. If it doesn't, check the other signs in your birth chart and watch one of those videos, or you can book a personal reading with me. Link to my website, description box below. Okay, um, getting right to it, the first oracle card we have here is man holding a coin. This is a great card for both business and for love. I think this has dual meaning for you, Pisces. I'm sensing an acceleration in two areas of your life. I think that money may become more steady. You're entering a different phase. You know, there's lots of work to be done. Do you have enough time to do it is the question. Also, I feel like there's somebody who wants to offer something here. You could have, you could be dealing with somebody that very much values their coin. This person could have lighter eyes. Male or female, the energy is coming up very masculine. But this person focuses on... what they have to do. They're a business person. You know, I'm sensing kind of wealth with them. They could have been saving. They could have been putting money away for a while. There's something, yeah, I just sense that they're very focused. Whether this is you or them, I feel like it's someone you're dealing with. And but there, it's like it's like this person has a hardship that they went through that I'm getting like be, you know, it's almost like dying and rebirth, very Phoenix energy. They could have been ill in the past and had to heal from something as well. But they want to offer you something, something stable. This individual is stable. However, they keep a lot of, they might be hard for you to understand. Because I'm getting a sort of silence, you know. They're not the most... I don't know. I just feel like they kind of, they're not really quick to make a move. They're very cerebral to me. Emotions and thinking, a lot of that. Some of you may actually need to do some healing as well. You're waiting to feel better. But, um, yeah, I'm picking up, like, multiple things from this card, to be honest. But I think it's essentially kind of good. It's, it's a symbol to me that there's um, stability and I won't even say positivity in your future. I'm getting more uh, money over here, so... And I feel like it's connected to love. You could be dealing with an earth sign or a water sign, but whoever this person is, they very much, they are about their coin and they want to offer you a cup of love. And this is a pure cup too. There's no deceit in this individual's offer. They're very distracted but it's because they're most likely a business person. Some of them may have their own business. And this individual could be extremely wealthy. Ten of Pentacles. Um, 
yeah, again, water, earth energy. I have the death card here. Could be dealing with the um, death in the world. Could be dealing with a fixed sign like Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. Um, I think this connection either has taken patience or will take patience. But whoever this individual is, they very much want to make you feel like a queen or a king. They see you, it's, they see so much potential in you. And in fact, I do feel like this connection could have the potential to be very abundant for both of you. It's, it's like this, this person came into your life to change it completely. I'm just seeing a lot of abundance. So somebody with money or something you're going to do with an individual that's very creative, very emotional, but does not um, always communicate quite clearly, I'm getting. You may have to use your instincts to understand this person, which I feel like you can. But it's it's just interesting here. I'm, I'm feeling a lot of money and creativity, creativity and love. This is a very positive reading for you, Pisces. I, I would say the biggest thing that I am catching is more just like a sense of being very busy and needing patience to develop this. And somebody might be a little bored waiting. They feel like it's taking forever. And, you know, but they don't want it to end or you don't want it to end. And I actually feel like you guys are going to enter the garden and the gate. This is a great card. You know, the, she's standing. It's very euphoric where she is. But there's something on her mind. So whoever the female energy is, there's a lot of something. There's something that she's not saying. But ideally, there's there's happiness here. There's abundance. Um, the other card that you got was the third chakra, Arch Archangel Chamuel. Okay, so he is about power. This is your third chakra here. So, you know, strength, going for it. I think this is very much a symbol for you. If there's something that you've been wanting to do, but afraid to kind of take that leap work on that project um i'm sensing working with maybe two other people there could be a lot of communication coming back and forth you may decide to um take a risk and collaborate with two individuals one person in the group could be more just money smart this individual would be a little bit eccentric in the way that they dress. However, I would take their guidance on their saying the eccentric individual, the person that dresses just, you know, they're going to stand out. Everybody else is dressed normal and then there's somebody dressed like, wow, <laughs> they're so silly. Orange and red could be significant. Uh, it doesn't have to be though, but... <clears throat> This person can really help you with financial, like in, in some sort of group setting and working towards something, financial advice. I see a lot of communication coming back and forth could be from a distance with someone. They, you know, there's a lot of encouragement here. So I do think, you know, Pisces, if there's something that you've been thinking about, taking a leap of faith, this reading is feeling really positive. You know, there's a change for you. Something has cycled out and you are, you know, there's like a time of pain. Obviously, you know, we cannot stop feeling pain forever, but there's, you know, it lessens. I'm getting this feeling that you're about to go on a journey. Some of you may be traveling. Could be like a weekend getaway or you could just travel more here. Um... So that's something to look out for. You could be traveling with a female who's a little bit free of spirit. Or this could be you traveling all by yourself. I think, 
I feel like you've been holding back, Piscean, trying to make a decision, trying to understand, maybe holding back from giving an offer. Or holding back from taking this journey. But you know, I really... I really think, I mean, they're giving you, they're telling you that you should be the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, she cuts things out that don't serve her. She doesn't hold back. She's very much um, in her truth. She uses logic. And I think that um, this could help you see. There also could be an air sign that you're dealing with. I'm getting two messages. So I think you should use your logic, but you could also be dealing with an air sign in the home um, or somebody that is a little bit firm and they're intelligent. They're definitely very intelligent, but they're not, they don't smile a lot, very straight to the point, but there's something about them, especially if you live with this person, Pisces, that I wouldn't trust. And something to do with your home. Somebody's doing something. Or, I just picked up on this. Some of you may have someone visit your home and they may steal something from you. This could be when there's um, several people over, actually. Somebody's going to steal something. Yeah. Yeah. I am getting that. So watch out if you have any family gatherings or just kind of pay attention, especially to the person. I don't know. Their demeanor is not quite right anyway. So this could be a friend of a friend. Maybe somebody brings. But you may need, you may come to enlightenment about something. Or there could be a person trying to get trying to get in the way of a connection that you have. I'm not really sure, but this is kind of future energy. So I'm feeling like this might not have happened yet. But there's some sneakiness going on. Very much so. So just keep your eye out, and most likely, it doesn't have to be, but most likely it could be an air sign. I just picked up on that. It's so strong, it distracted me from everything. So watch out, Pisces. There's like a devil somewhere uh, in, in the mix, and you may not see who they are. All right, um, now there is, and the last card is strategy here. I think you're going to have to come up with a plan in order to, this could, you could have to write something. I'm getting writing or it's like as simple as writing it. You need to find, there might be some communication that you need to have or something you need to write. But I very much see you trying to find balance in what you're doing. And you could have difficulty with either a mother figure that isn't good with balance. Or maybe you're not able to give a feminine figure what they want. I just see you really kind of closing off this month with an energy of trying to please somebody. And also trying to balance your life and your finances. Some of you could have somebody that's a bit obsessive over you as well. This could be a fire sign or perhaps a cap, a cappy Capricorn here. Um, you could have a hostile interaction with this individual. The death card is here twice. It's more Scorpio energy. Let's see. Hmm. There's 
Where's that air sign again? It could be on travel, while you're traveling, either while you're away or when you're traveling that you have trouble with somebody, but there's definitely a sneaky here and I don't like them. And it's going to leave, something's going to, there's going to be an argument for you with an individual. And I, I feel like this is separate from this energy, like this relationship, this working, this abundance. This is all growing over here. But there's something else, and it could be in a dynamic of three, either a living situation or a work situation. Something's wrong, or something will be wrong. Oh, I'm dying to know what it is, Pisces. Oh! However, you know, in regards to love, I'm, you know, there's somebody that really cares about you. I'm picking up on a female, actually, that loves you very much. Could be a male too, but it's that very unconditional Queen of Cups type of energy. This person is the Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles. They do money, they do love. So it's like they, they, they work hard, they love hard, whoever you're dealing with. Or this could be you. But anyway, okay, so looks pretty good. Just look out for this sneaky individual here. This sneaker. All right, Pisces, watch out. Hide your things that are really valuable when you're not around. I'm getting somebody's a coming. Could be an Aquarius. All right, that is what I have for you. Okay, bye-bye.